It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1596, recorded Wednesday, November 9th, 2016. A helly of a show! On this episode of the Gizwiz, Dick has two gadgets and a what the heck is it? I have my second crappy corner for the second week in a row in the new month's theme. And we have a letter from Richard. All coming up next on the Gizwiz. It's the same dumb show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now it is time for the Gizwiz and here he is. The president-elect of the Gadget Association of America, Dick wow. DiBartolo. How you wow. doing, Mr. I'm good. President-elect? How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> doing good, good, good. With my new non-reflective... <gasps> you, Warby you can, Parker. Warby Jesus. Parker. They had an ad on uh, a couple months ago, and there was a perk. There was a free pair of glasses for someone... And fortunately, Chad doesn't wear glasses. <laughs> I don't need glasses. So but... I got free glasses, and I love them. And I said, you know, I, I need a, a, a anti-glare on them because I do podcasting. And they go, all our glasses are anti-glare and scratch resistant. It is that- so <laughs> obvious to me. I remember just last week looking at the glare on your glasses. Yes. I mean, the... It's so noticeable. I mean, I want to go back and, and look at uh, last week's episode just to show the difference because it's incredible to me. Um, here, let's scoop. There we go. Here's the PC. Look at... It, we, uh, we jumped in. Here we go. Uh, there we are. Here, you're talking right around here. Oh, oh, we're going to find it. We are we'll going to find it. But look, look, oh, I mean, yeah, you yes, can yes. tell. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable, the difference. Uh, look at that. Uh, you can't see your eyes through those old glasses. No. no. And, <laughs> well, well those, old, those particular old glasses are magnifiers. However, I have the screen down to 40%. I found, I found, I, I was using every kind of scrim over the, the, the the chat room monitor is right. what lights my because it's big, um, and then I found this show called Pango Bright, a show, an app called Pango Bright, and it's a little app, it, and all the app does is it goes from ten percent to a hundred percent, and you hit it, and so I I had dialed the monitor way down, and I was still getting reflection, and now I have the monitor, I'm I still have it at below something. But my my uh, YouTube monitor the, the, uh, that we're using here for Skype, I have at full brightness, and there is no ref- – it's great. It's they great. really – I mean, and the style is fantastic. Um, it's just uh, – I mean, I just want to go back to the YouTube video again. Here's – I found a, yeah. a nice long section where you were using your old glasses, and you can – barely make out your eyes and that's with yeah. the brightness so low that's with you trying to make sure that the glare isn't too bad and yeah because way way back <laughs> my eyes are just blue i mean my yeah. glasses are just, it looks like yeah. you're wearing sunglasses that have yeah. super reflectiveness on them and so now, yeah amazing and, and, and everything's amazing. included so if you have a normal prescription it's 95 dollars and I have a, uh, a, an involved prescription, and it's thirty dollars extra, so one twenty-five. And Dennis is going to get a pair too. And so. and I mean, for people who have ever gone through the process of trying to use even your own insurance, it can be less expensive to go through Warby Parker in the end. Yeah, Going I pay insurance. Dennis, Dennis's glasses were six hundred, <sighs> and mine were four hundred, and then forty dollars for anti glare. So my glasses were four forty, 
and these were 130. God, would have been 100. Just it yeah. just shows you. We're giving more. Warby Parker has not paid for this. No, they paid not, for an not, ad not, weeks ago, not, and here we exactly. are just talking about how great we love yes. them. Right. Exactly. Um, exactly. And if so, you're in New York City, uh, 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 they just opened a store in Grand Central Terminal. So that's awesome. That is awesome. Um, man, we have a lot uh, this episode. Of course, Dick has uh, his three gadgets, but I'm excited because one of them. I don't even know what they are. I don't, I don't yeah, even know what it is. No, and the chat room's going to play, too, because I don't think anybody is going to guess. Okay. I don't think. Okay. Let's see. Let's jump into our first gadget. Okay. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about LED bikes, and I was waiting for some footage, and the footage came. So let's take a look at an LED bike. This is from a company called Kazam. You can actually just run the video, and I'll just talk over it. Of course, the video is silent. I'm trying to get it open. And, there we go. Sorry. So Sorry. it is, uh, the bike company is Kazam. And this new bike that they have out is called the Blinky. And I was going to shoot something uh, at Interbike. And the guy said, you know, you should see the bike at dusk. He said, I'll send you some B-roll where the kids start out in daytime. And slowly it's get, it gets to dusk. So these are balance bikes. Now, I didn't know about balance. It's been so long since I, I had a bike. So balance bikes are basically bikes for little kids, two, I think it's two and up, where they balance themselves and pedal uh, uh, using the floor. There's no pedals on the bike. But what's neat about the Blinky is there are two inserts for and aft where you slide in these plastic LED holders and the frame is a polycarbonate, which is kind of clear. And so when you slide the LED lights in there, you can have them flashing or solid. Then it looks like the whole bike frame is lit up. It looks like it's a fully plastic, clear plastic bike. Yes, it, it's it's a poly. That's they, they, they they call it a space age polycarbonate. Space age car. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, the space age was like the seventies. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly, so. exactly, <laughs> exactly. But it's it's really nifty. They're ninety nine bucks, which to me seems really reasonable. Yeah. And with the balance thing, it's it's supposed to be a very easy step to go from balancing on a bike to then moving up to a pedal bike and yeah. and probably leaving out having to have the training wheels. And then they're available in four colors and the handles and the seat are adjustable so as the child grows, they can uh uh, make, make the bike fit them. That so, is uh, very uh, interesting. Yeah. I'm I'm fascinated also because the the balance. I, I don't know if I've ever seen a balance bike before. You know, I I didn't see them until the show. Yeah, and, they make so and, much and sense. It, it it there was something else I saw there. I don't even remember the name of it. But instead of buying a kid a rocking horse, there's somebody there who makes a rocker that you buy the kid a balance bike and you bolt it to the rocker. So instead of having a rocking horse, you have a rocking bike. Then when you feel confident that they can pedal this bike, you take it off the rocker, it becomes a balance bike. And then from that, you move them into a pedal bike. So yeah. it's, a, it's a great three-way training system uh, without much hassle for the parent. Beatmaster says this is a, a Tron light cycle for kids. <laughs> and it, I, it, oh, I agree. I oh, I know. And they're not on the web. The, the bikes are on the website. <clears throat> oh, uh, 99.95. But the um, the gentleman at the company, I think it was Mike, said that shortly they'll have additional LED tubes because I think right now you pick a color that you want your bike to be lit and down the line if you want to have a spare set of green lights or blinking lights uh i think it's 15 dollars for one of those new led drop-in uh, uh light sets and uh you supply the batteries it's six double a batteries which are not included and i notice a, a, a lot these days 
are not included. And it doesn't bother me so much because I'm so tired of buying things where the batteries are dead out of right. the box. Or they're the, the cheapest, the absolute yes, cheapest yes, batteries. Yes. And you, go, well, you know, this is going to be a hassle just to put these things in here and then two days later have to switch them out with the ones that I yes, buy. Yes, yes. I, I noticed several toys now on the bo box of the instruction uh, sheet say, warning, these are starter batteries. Yeah. Which you're means like, it's, oh, a, it's this a, is it's this enough. is landfill fodder is what you're telling me. It's enough that you can power the toy until you get to the drugstore to buy some decent batteries. Right. Yeah. It, yeah. And of course, you know, you're not supposed to landfill <coughs> batteries. You're supposed to re re recycle them. Yes. So, uh, so I always end up with a basket of batteries that one one day I'll remember to put in my car and take down to Best Buy and recycle correctly. Yeah, just t just get rid of all those. You know, I, I've seen a resurgence in rechargeable batteries, and some really good rechargeable batteries are hitting the market at inexpensive prices. And I feel like that's probably where many people are going to head in the future. That and the very nice, the same type of batteries that are in your phone are now. You know, that same battery technology is being put in double a size batteries oh that's nice that's nice and i also nice. noticed there are a lot of rechargeables that are recharged in the pack yes and what's great about that the years ago you had to take them home then recharge them. them yes for four or five hours right. before you could even use them this way if you're on the road or at the toy store and you want to buy batteries and instantly see if the device works uh right out of the package the batteries They're are already pre-charged yeah right. It's, and it's and also, I mean, quickly, I quickly mentioned is the same type of technology that's in your phone. That's a big deal because I remember buying batteries and worrying about, oh, you have to drain them. You have to fully charge them and then make sure they're drained all the way. And then, oh, you might get weird ghosting issues if you halfway, you know, run it down before you charge it again. But the battery technology that's in your cell phones now, you don't have to worry about that at all. You can just yeah. use it how you want to use it and recharge it how you want to recharge it and it's just and it, and, no, and no, i hate it i hated the no charging tuesday between four and seven <laughs> i know uh, i like, didn't know i didn't know what time zone they meant it's the so, moon it's the location of the moon it's the moon shift uh yeah technologies. so i played it safe i just i never recharge batteries on a tuesday yeah but just, now with the new ones sevens 24-7. I know, I know. The new ones is just so great. It just removes so much headache from the equation. So, uh, very cool. Uh, I really like that bike, and, and I think that it's pretty cool. Uh, uh, I, I do, too. So I have some I more like cool stuff for kids. Uh, there was an event called the Time to Play Magazine Holiday Showcase, getting ready for the holidays. So the rest of this show and next week's show, I'm going to have fun toys. And the first toy from the event is mainly for you, Chad, because Ooh. you asked for it. Okay, let's play it. Hey, Dickie Bartolo, Mads Metis writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Anki, remember we did, they had I those cars them. that the more they drive, the smarter they get. I mean, after 30 seconds, three cars were smarter than I was. It was embarrassing. They well, got Anki college has degrees. New, and this is a little guy yes. here. And I remember OMG Chad said, What? You have no video of? And the what is Cosmo. this little guy called? called Cosmo. His name is Cosmo. And what does Cosmo do? Cosmo's a character, like he uh, came out of a movie. So Cosmo will interact with you, play games with you, he recognizes you. Um, he can... He's sort of like Wally, is that right? Uh, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a, an aspect to him that is Wally. Um, he's, um, he, what we aim for is to try to make him feel... Can you show us as you talk? Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's, yeah, let me come down here where he's sitting. He's trying to, right now, see, he wants to play Finger Pounce, which is a little game he likes to play. He gets he's excited. Here, well, let me tell you. Here, let me, let me, let me just move. Oh, he doesn't like that. He doesn't like it when you move him around a lot, either. He's a very... And how do you know he didn't like it? Is he... Well, he made a little noise, and I do it. Oh, oh okay. I hear it, unfortunately. No, I, it's incredibly loud in here. It's loud, but, uh, but here, let's... Why don't we, let me play a little game? This is kind of fun. We'll play a, a game called Keep Away. I'm sure you've played it. Uh, with other other people, we'll give it that. So we, he's got his cube there. So what we're gonna do is see. So he's all ready. 
So what, the object is to slide this up here, and he's going to try to pounce on it. Whoop. And you got to pull it away. Oh, okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so he gets mad when he doesn't get what he when he doesn't hit it. Oh, oh, oh! Now he got me that time. <laughs> and, and 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 when it when it lit up red, is it because he was actually able to hit it? Yeah, because he gets it. So I lost. I lost a point. See, see, and now I wasn't paying attention, and he got another one. He snuck another one in there. Oh, oh, oh! All right, so he's really beating me now. Wait, let me see if I. Oh, oh. Yep. Oh, see, and he'll try to dupe me. Oh, oh man. The, well, that time he won, right? Because it, it stayed green. No, because he 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 actually missed that time. But he, yeah. Here we go. So, uh, oh. Uh, oh, oh. And, and how much does Cosmo sell for? Is he out yet? Uh, it comes out next week. Uh, uh, be in stores on the 16th. Uh, okay, we're we're taping this in uh, early part of October, so it's going to be out. 16th. Oct October 16th. And he's going to retail for. 179. $179, okay. And what does he come with? Uh -huh. uh, so it's him, uh, his power cubes, which are his favorite things in the world, uh, and a charger. He's, uh, he's rechargeable um, on there. And uh, let's show the packaging over there. So do you, you just uh, set him on there to charge him? Yeah. Yeah, you just, he'll charge on there. He, he takes about 10 minutes to charge if he's fully depleted, uh, and he'll run for about 90 minutes. Oh, wow. That's, that's a, a great ratio. Uh, yeah. That's Cosmo, and the company is Anki, A-N-K-I. Are you at Anki.com? Yes. You can also uh, find Cosmo at Anki.com and Overdrive. Perfect. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Medis, writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Ha! I beat him. <laughs> I so it, it's hard to kind of show off Cosmo because I think a lot of what they have built into him is is an artificial intelligence style toy, yes. and yes. so they, a lot of what he does is almost serendipity. You know, you, you know, and, Chad. As we talk, run their video. It's only ninety perfect. seconds because they have better close-ups and no background noise, uh, and. Oh, you hear a sound effect better, too. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've, I've heard that they they took a lot of animation style into this. So they modeled him in Maya, which is a 3D modeling platform, so that they could get basically a whole bunch of animation into him. And so you can see he has just a ton of character. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And 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 <laughs> I didn't realize that they the cubes did so much. <laughs> so he's play it's playing click the thing. Yes. <laughs> and now he's doing his uh, his uh, success dance. Yeah, his his I beat you dance. There's his little recharge station. And they've tried to make him very, very accessible. I mean, as accessible as you could possibly get. Um, yeah, evidently, if you don't play with him, he comes to life and makes noises like, why aren't you playing with him? And the one funny thing is he says, if you beat him a lot, he'll sulk. And, and, I, and I'm saying, wait, you spend $180 for a robot and he sulks? He's upset. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. How much do you got to baby this guy? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but he's very cute, and he has a lot of sounds, and, and, and they were saying that it, that it has more brain data processes than all the Mars rovers combined, which wow. is probably true. Yeah. And, um, of course, he can be updated easily. Yes. You know, that's, absolutely. Uh, that's the thing with uh, Anki, or Anki, uh, I can't remember which exactly. I don't remember either. I don't remember. I, I say but I remember the first version of the Overdrive cars, and they didn't feel quite 100%. But then they came out with tons of app updates and driver updates. And, I mean, at the end, the cars were just so fun to play with. 
And I kind of have a feeling Cosmo V1 is going to be fun, but then who knows what version 1.5, 1.10 is going to be. Yeah. Because it seems like there, there could be a lot of smarts built into this little toy. Do you think one hundred and eighty dollars, one hundred and seventy nine? It, it, it to me sounds high. Yeah. Now it, it's not. Uh, I it's on Amazon, and it, it's on Amazon at the list price, and it says uh, we will ship when available. So maybe it's not. My feeling about these things is right after Christmas. If you can wait, you'll probably get some great discounts right and i can't remember and, exactly what happened with the overdrive because anki's been been around we've seen smart devices from them i can't remember if the overdrive ca drive cars kind of went down in price or not so right now list price okay so they did a bit this is five dollars off on amazon so good okay because some companies do that thing where they never put on a sale ever like apple yeah, uh, there are a lot. There are a lot of companies that will give a store an exclusive, like back when uh, Brookstone, uh, back when Sharper Image was up and running and had stores. I would talk to like somebody at Shop who would come out with something new, and I would say, a hundred dollars, yes, and they would, I'd say, and discounts, and they said not for three months, yeah, because. They uh, it, it, it was sold exclusively at Sharper Image for three months, and you know stores just don't discount it. Right, right. So, so who knows? Um, but I think I I really can't tell if this is the next Furby or if this is gonna be something that's cool that a lot of people have, but won't be the next big fad. You know? Yeah, I, I don't know either. Especially Maybe. At <laughs> I know. I know. Maybe in one of the updates, uh, uh, Cosmo could go get a job. <laughs> right. Cosmo, can you start pulling your own weight? Uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Hey, I, need, I got a big electric bill this month. Uh, I'm going to need you to chip in. Yeah. You, you cost exactly. a lot of char to charge. No. Um, so, yeah, I think, it, I think it's going to be a great toy. I want one and to spend you know i want one so that i could you know sit there for hours and really see if it's an initial uh f you know it's something that looks good in a 30 second ad but really is it doesn't sustain me for a week or two um because that's also i think the big fear is that after a little while you're just like ah, i have one i haven't he hasn't i haven't turned him on he 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 whines at me that i don't play with him and he's going to he's going to want his he's going to want a friend right they'll they'll, they'll program into him that right. he needs a companion right I, so i can't i can't play <laughs> i don't yeah I you'll see them robot. playing yeah together right. you're just like okay go <laughs> go ahead right so um I, I'm very interested. I'm going to keep watching and see what happens with Cosmo and what people say about Cosmo. And then I'll decide if I'm going to drop the $180 on him. Uh, so, yeah. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, Cosmo good. from Enki. Cosmo from, okay. Uh -huh. And now for you and the chat room. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, what <laughs> the heck? Is it? It's a uh, pair of headphones for a itty bitty robot. Oh, no, they they look like uh, Cosmo headphones. They don't do they? look like Cosmo you, headphones. You can click them right on it's, them. It's uh, the same company that does the invisible bike. You know, that plastic bike <laughs> makes. Uh, oh, that, that's a very funny. That's very funny. Yeah, um, I think I actually do know what this is, is but I don't. Uh, you do know what it is? I might. It. it it looks very dental. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. That's that's a very good guess. Okay. It is perhaps the only time in my lifetime that I've seen a game that comes with a dental device. <laughs> <laughs> you, here's the object of, it's called Speak Out. You have to Lock this in your mouth. Right. And then read <laughs> phrases off cards. Okay. 
Okay, because I was like, okay, I, you know, you know, you know, Lori. <laughs> I told I, I have so much dental work. I, I said to the to the guy, no, I, I no I video. I uh, yeah. I said, do you have any video? And so, time to play magazine has a video, and you'll see why I don't want to play this. So let's watch that video. <laughs> Oh what my god. <laughs> That's the question yeah. you'll be tasked with answering when you play this new party game. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM here with Hasbro's Speak Out. This game comes with five mouthpieces, 200 double sided cards, and a timer. On your turn, you have to put a mouthpiece in your mouth, flip over the timer, draw a card from the deck, <laughs> and read it out loud. That's a little difficult to do when you're wearing the mouthpiece. <laughs> Your teammates must correctly guess what you're saying in order to earn the card. You can repeat the phrase as often as needed and talk with your hands, but no miming. You can also pass if your teammates just aren't getting it. However, and then the you pass the mouthpiece to your friend. You Once your team guesses correctly, put the card in front of you and draw the card. Keep going until the timer runs out. Now it's the other team's turn. After each player has taken two turns, the game is over and the team with the most cards wins. This game is super easy to learn, but wearing the mouthpieces feels a little like a trip to the dentist's office. So if you're not into that, then you might not be into this game. But for those who aren't bothered by the mouthpieces, this will be a silly addition to a game night. Even if your team doesn't guess what you're saying, hearing what they think you've said is really going to be more fun than winning. Well, almost. The game is for four to five players, ages 16 and up. For where to buy in current prices, visit TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more reviews every day. I, I think I've had to use one of these at a dentist, so I think that's why I had an expert point of view on oh, <laughs> what the my, heck that yeah, was. I, it's not in the chat room I'm uh, looking up here. Uh, E-Gads, this game is so wrong on so many levels, like a medieval torture device, <laughs> not for me, I pass, no fun at all. Wow, it's uh, twenty-two dollars. You know, you know, I think uh, it's worth it. And the funny, it. funny thing is, I'm thinking kids will like it, but it says ages sixteen and up. What? That might be That's because it, you can't buy kids mouthpieces, or you know what? You know what? Know. Maybe when the guy, the guy said he didn't have a game, but he could give me a couple of mouthpieces, and he said, "I only have adult mouthpieces," so maybe. In the future, they're going to come out with a kid's version. I, gosh, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 I would buy it. I, I would buy it would because, you, you know, I, I don't know if this is just because I record YouTube videos and this oh, would okay. make the funniest YouTube video to record with other people who make YouTube videos. Oh, okay. Uh, but okay. I could also see for $22 bringing this to a party and even if you don't play the game as it's intended having all these silly mouthpieces to show your friends and oh I, so we found uh, we, I we think found I would buy for, it for the uh, next meetup yeah exactly uh, yeah you know go go back to that uh, Amazon page because I think I, I saw this happen with other games it looks like it was available as a different game uh, can you go down to, to the bottom? You see, oh yeah, watch. look at this. Watch the mouth. Watch the mouth. Right, and I have an idea that Hasbro might have just figured. Why don't we just buy this game? <laughs> right, and and put it out under our own name. Right, because uh, Wethead. Uh, yeah, this is pie, a startup. I think, I, I, it says, I, I, what, yeah. What, what, look. The, what pie in the face? Um, yes, what, yes, yeah. I think I think that started out with a different company. Um, so oh, they only want twelve dollars. Yeah, this is where you get it. Seriously, or you know, just make up your own and then buy just the refill packs. Oh, for there four you bucks. go. You know what? That's the way to do it because all you need to do is. Write down phrase. You know what? You could write down phrases and make that part of the game. Right. There you go. Hmm. Make your mm -hmm. your own cheap game. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the start of the party. And, and get people to dentistry. write down. Yeah. <laughs> and learn at the dentistry. same time. If you have a sixteen-year-old who has a dentistry bent, you know, just get them this game or the yeah. other ones. Yeah, exactly. You'd hope that they had bought uh, the Watch the Mouth um, game or <laughs> that Hasbro didn't just say, hmm, oh. interesting. I, 
<laughs> you yeah. know, you'd hope that there was some money exchanged there, but maybe. Who knows? It's well, that. I, I, hope, I I'm, hope not. I'd buy it. I'd buy it. Uh, okay, good. Well, that's why. That's why it's it's good. Oh wow! I'm I happen to be sitting under the hat exactly right for almost the first time. <laughs> there you go. You see, because now I can see right there. You go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, okay. Excellent. Uh, all right, so we have a buyer, ladies and gentlemen. A buyer. So, okay. you, you know, and you, it's, it's, this is a nice sketch. It's choose your own price. Either you can do it as little as four ninety nine for a pack or as much yeah. as $22 for name brand Hasbro Gaming Fun. Right. And they made up the cards, but you can, you know, Bella the Bond Ball. Exactly. I mean, I think that would be perfect. You start off at the beginning of the night. You don't tell people the the dental mouthpieces are coming and you say write down a phrase that is five words long okay five oh, words yeah that's long a great way to play yeah. okay and then write your name on the back of the card and then you shuffle all the cards up and if you choose a card that has your name on it you have to choose another one so choose one that you don't you didn't write then you have to tell you know then you do it anyway yeah i made up my own party game actually i didn't know i think from them. i think you did <laughs> Um, and then, if, and then, if it's too hard, you can say this is a movie, right? Or right. this is something you order for dinner. So you get right. people into into a category, right? So, right. Oh, right, so let's, why don't we rip off Hasbro? I think so. You know, we're going to be uh, starting the Gizwiz uh, <laughs> dental game soon. Yes, exactly. Uh, what do they call this again? I already forgot. Um, <laughs> oh, speak out. Speak out. Um, uh, Giz out. Uh, <laughs> Uh, right. Say again. We'll, we'll say, call again. say Say again. Say again. Uh, that, say again. Yeah, again. That's, again. That's our name. That's the name again. of all. Um, That's copyright. <laughs> Love it. With that, I think it is time. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. The, the one and only. It, but you might put that chair. It's crappy core. Get it. Okay, so this wow. is the second week of $5 and under month. And I took a, tr a, a trip, a uh, short trip, over to uh, the Five Below store to buy this gadget. Now, I'm realizing that there may have been a flaw in my uh, technique because it's hard to actually, I should have bought them all online because it's hard to find these back online again for uh, little money, which I didn't think would be a problem. You'd think that online it'd be easy to find stuff for even cheaper than you do in a normal store. Um, but I am having a little bit of that issue. Luckily, it's on the Five Below website. So this is the Heli Ball. <laughs> and what it is, is it is, it's kind of like a drone, except that you don't have a remote control to control it. It just floats in the air. Uh, you have on the bottom here, you have a little, uh, a, a charging port. That's uh, oh, that little wow. middle thing. It comes with a USB cord to charging adapter. And I think that it's not micro SD because it's so light. I mean, this is a very light thing. And then it has an on and off switch. And then I believe that these two things are sensors, or maybe this one's a sensor and this one's just a cap. I'm not sure. Um, but that's it. You have the on and off button and that's it. This is in an emoji style. This is the laughing so hard I am crying emoji. And this is what the packaging looks like. It was exactly five dollars uh, for me, and it flies up to fifteen feet. Now I'm gonna try to do it right here at first. Okay. It probably will not succeed, um, and then I have some uh, some B-roll of me trying it uh, before. It has an interesting control mechanism in that obviously proximity to the ground, but also to turn it off after it's going, and it has a little light, so it lights up, um, and it'll start up automatically. To can wow. turn it off, if it gets away from you, you take any remote from home and basically click any button and it'll turn off. Wow. Any TV remote and then you can hit the button again and it'll turn on, which I actually think is kind of a cool thing. So I'm going to try that's this, great. this once and it's going to first try to get away from my hand and then hopefully try to hover there. And there's no way to really control it. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> 
Okay, so, and then when it crashes, it, it blinks a few times. So, can't really do it here in the studio. That's why we recorded a video uh, in a larger room that is suspiciously empty of any furniture um, earlier. This, uh, once again, did cost exactly $5. So this would be a great outdoor sort of situation. It'll hover about a foot above your hand. So you can oh, kind of wow. put your hand down. Now you can't control left or right at all. So if it starts to kind of float away from you, you, you can't really do anything about it. You, you I guess grab the remote and shut it off. But you can see that using your and hand... Half of, half of it has a light in it? Right, so the back half sort of has a little LED. The back LED. half is light. Oh, okay. And right now it's uh, like a yellow or a white. Whoa! So yeah, so it won't hit the ground, which is kind of nice because the proximity sensor, there's waffles there. So oh, waffles. What does waffles think? She hates it. She was oh. very interested. <laughs> Until that happened. Until I, I tossed <laughs> it into the wall. Seems uh, the... the the blades are sort of those articulating blades that aren't uh, too strong. So right. uh, I'll show it when we get out of the B-roll, but they, they fold around. So I think that they're... It doesn't come with any extras, so if you break one, it's broken. I was trying to see what... Waffles <laughs> did not like me picking her up. <laughs> Waffles does not trust you anymore. <laughs> no. I, I like the idea that it, you just use any household remote, yeah, click any I button think on it. Great. Wow. And I think she, she's probably gone pretty quickly after this. You can, you can also sort of, uh, you know, make the top point in a direction to kind of make it go in a direction for a little while, and then it sort of levels itself out. So I'm, I'm kind of pointing it towards towards waffles and letting go and you can see that it sort of corrects for itself <laughs> smart cat says uh, Ranger Rick uh, uh. all in all wow. for five dollars I'd say this is a, a really fun little gadget I think it's great also it lasted... I've never I've never seen somebody with an empty room in their house who like gadgets <laughs> why is that not filled floor there to ceiling a, with gadgets there... <laughs> There's kind of a stereotype of uh, YouTubers who get a house that they don't <laughs> they don't fill it with anything because I, I I'm out of money to buy furniture. I don't oh, I can't buy okay. any furniture. Gosh, so yeah. These rooms is like guest rooms that just don't have any furniture in them. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, I, you can stay over. Just bring a bed. Bring a bread and a exactly. chest of drawers. Exactly. Bring your own. Uh, uh, yeah, sleeping bag. So here's what I was talking about with the, the wings. You can see, oh, they're, kind I of, see. they're kind of floppy. So if it hits a wall, they'll kind of bounce and, and move out of the way. So it's a pretty durable little construction. Of course, it's pretty light. And I think for $5 is a great little oh, buy. pretty good, yeah. So looking on Amazon, I really couldn't find one. You, I could find some on eBay for about uh, $7.99. And then Amazon... Well, I, just, I just looked on Amazon... It's like They're sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars, right? And I was a, I was kind of upset by that. Um, that there really wasn't a good cheap option on Amazon. But oh. luckily, Five Below, which is who I bought it from, which is at fivebelow.com, uh, they have it listed, and they have the Teenage Mutant Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Heli Ball, and I believe. Add to your wheelbarrow. So I'm not exactly sure how their online system works. Uh, shipping and handling. What is your shipping and handling? Uh, standard mm. ground is recommended. Shipping uh, table at the bottom. Shipping tables at the bottom. I'm confused. We're right there, the oh, blue. Oh, 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 here we go. For rates. Uh, seven days. Order. Shipping cost. 20 bucks? Oh my gosh. What? For standard shipping, it'll cost $5 if your order is within $15 to $35. Oh, it's like okay. They don't do any free shipping at all. So uh, there's that. So you can get it uh, for $5 plus $5 shipping at 5below.com in different Ninja Turtle 
uh, options, which is kind of cool. Or if you happen to have a five below store near you, um, that's also an option. I think that they're pretty fun. And no, for, I do. I for five dollars, it's it's worth it. It there, it yeah. is hard to control. Here, we're gonna let this. We're just gonna send this out. Um, and uh, and you know, for five dollars, I'm not like too worried that it's gonna break. So here's what I mean: is is you can kind of tilt it and then let it go. Oh, it kind of <laughs> and it's gone. And and it'll kind of go in the direction that you tilt it because of centrifugal force, kind now, of keeping it. Wouldn't, it. it wouldn't break. It couldn't break a window, right? I don't think so. Uh, unless, okay. yeah, it's too, there's it lays weighs probably less than a few ounces. Oh, it's, okay. You know, just okay. the plastic plastic ball and stuff. So that is the heli ball, which you can pick up at a Five Below store near you, or you can get on the Five Below website for five dollars shipping. Or there's also a chance that eBay is your friend. I was able to find a few on eBay for about $6.99 uh, on eBay. So those are also available. The heli ball, the uncontrollable flying ball. <laughs> <laughs> is, that how they, is that how they advertise it? No, that's my own words. Uh, right. You would think yeah. that they the, would go the for that advertising. The heli ball, we don't care where the <laughs> hell it goes. Yeah, exactly. We don't care what the hell you do with it. <laughs> um, controllable with a, uh, a remote, and you turn it off with any, That's any house remote. I like that. I know. That's it. I was like, that is clever. That is too gosh darn clever. With that, let's jump into Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> Gadgets pass away. He takes them out to play in Dick's Gadgets Warehouse. Oh, okay, and we will go to the warehouse. Oh, actually, I, I brought something home from the warehouse, and this is it. Hey, Dickie Martolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at Gizwiz.tv with another warehouse gadget. And this is it. It's from Monster Cable. And strangely enough, it's from Monster Cable, but it uses no cables. It's a way to listen to, to uh, your music, but it doesn't use Wi-Fi, and it doesn't use Bluetooth, and it doesn't use wires. So how could it work? Well, I'll tell you how. Let's unfold it first. It, it works by, actually, this is, you can tell this is old. It's like eight and nine years old. The uh, yeah. cup foam is just coming apart here. It works because you wear your music player on your head. Oh. Okay. It's not as weird as it sounds. This is called the iFree Play. From Monster Cable, and it only worked with the iPod Shuffle. Remember the Shuffle? The Shuffle was great. Tons of songs, little belt clip in the back, or for your shirt. And so this is how it works. There's an opening at the back of one of the head cups, and you put this in, and it clips in like that. Now, there's a slight learning curve because the only way it can go into the monster cable thing is upside down. Okay, so the controls are backwards, uh, so you have to get a little bit used to that. But once you're used to that, it's not bad. So you're carrying a music player with you. The sound was so-so, uh, and wearing it was a little... I'll show you how it was meant to... It was... It went behind the ears like that. I guess it needs no batteries. Okay. And well, uh, no, because the shuffle it's, it's power. It's a little annoying yeah, yeah. because yeah. this bar here drags on my neck. And in in the reviews, a lot of people didn't like it because there was no adjustment for it. Whichever way the ear cups fell, that was it. There was no way to, you know, in modern uh, phones, you can pull them in or out or make adjustments on the headband. There are no adjustments at all on this. The music quality was pretty good for the time and what they were. They were uh, a little bit on the expensive side, less than what you would think for a monster cable. Uh, the headphones were 50 bucks. 
Um, amazingly, I was doing a little research earlier, and the shuffle is still available at a lot of places. Uh, I assume they're uh, all used, but I'm not sure. Starting at about 40 bucks on up to into the hundreds of dollars. Or, uh, I wonder if this is some kind of a knockoff. It's not the mini shuffle. It is the mini shuffling MP3 player. Uh, and so this is, it is a little bit different. So this has no memory of its own. It actually comes with a, it, it doesn't come. It, for seven bucks, you get the player. Then you buy your own M, uh, micro uh, SD card. And I'm looking here, eight, uh, yeah, up to eight gigabytes. You can load the music onto the micro SD card, and then the micro SD card plugs into this guy, and then you have your music. The monster cable thing uh, just played from the memory that was in your shuffle. And as you know, the uh, Apple shuffle, you could not not add memory to it. That's it. Dick Martola, Man's Man to and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. That is interesting that you can kind of almost hack it. <laughs> hack it with a yeah. new, cheaper shuffle that has the exact same form factor as it does, doesn't the it? Apple. Look at, look at that. Yeah. It's $7. It's seven dollars. You would hope. Uh, here, here's the original. Right. Oops, that I'm sorry, going back here. to you. Yeah. So there, and then this is, here's the fake yeah. one. Yeah, I've seen yeah. I've seen them. Uh, you know, you'd hope that they were. I wonder how accurate it would have to be if there was enough play. If the headphone jack was just a little bit off. Oh, oh, you mean to, to try and use it not. in the, yeah. the headphone thing? Oh, you yeah. were, oh, you were just showing that. Hey, you can buy one for seven bucks. Yes, yes, I was just showing that. Oh, you can I was buy wondering one. if you were saying oh, 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 no, only it would because work. The, I'd have to get new foam for the headphones. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. No, but I thought for the time it was very clever. I, I, I did use it at the gym because we didn't have Bluetooth and all that. And this was a real easy way just to be wearing your, you know, it sounds funny, but a, a shuffle. What does this thing weigh, like two ounces? Right, exactly. Uh, so it was, it was, it was, it was neat. It was yeah, and, and I mean, it does seem convenient. If you had a shuffle and you didn't want to have a cord... Seems great yeah. for sports. You don't have to recharge or change out the batteries on the headphones. You got it all right there. It's not as it's not as bad as I you know I thought it would be. It it's, it seems kind of smart. To yeah, be it is. So uh, very cool, interesting. Um, from Monster Cable, the cableless headphones. You never yes. know what you're going to get in the warehouse. You never know. Never know what you're going to get in the warehouse. With that, I guess let's jump into our letter, which now has the correct theme music. Yes. Here we go. Ooh, the dancing Santa. Yeah. Sleigh's loaded up and I'm ready to go to fly through the sky in the Christmas snow. Got lots of stops and it's going to be tricky quick. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that Sel selfie taking selfie. Selfie Santa, yes. Selfie One of my favorite Santa. toys. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you, you just can't well, argue uh, with okay. quality. <laughs> no, you cannot. You cannot. The letter of the week is probably last week's letter... Explained. Mystery solved, okay? Uh, from Richard in Seymour, Indiana. The mystery item in the letter of the week is a sausage stuffer. Oh. I couldn't find an, uh, an image of the exact one, but I'm attaching one that is very close. If you Google vintage sausage stuffer, there are plenty of them. The sausage meat goes in the body and is pressed down with the wooden plunger. The sausage skin is pulled over the smaller end. And as you press the plunger, the meat is pushed into the skin and expands out. 
Give it a couple of twists every few in- inches, and you make the links. Okay, we have so the picture if, of yeah, the one if you deeper. remember, I'm, I'm going to go back in time. This oh, is from great, great, two great. episodes ago. This is our What the Heck Is It that we were trying to figure out what is this gadget. This, they found uh, a, a, con- a, a contractor found this uh, in a renovation he was doing. Right. And no he was one trying could figure, to out. figure out what this was. And lo and behold, the Gizwiz audience came through. This is a vintage sausage stuffer. That looks exactly correct. I think it is. I, I think someone made a slightly spiffier version right. of the original picture we have. Um, yeah, that, that's the plunger part. I think that's it. I think that's it, too. I, I th- I, yeah. I think mystery solved. I believe it was yes, Douglas. Richard. Douglas, who originally sent in... Uh, the first letter that we couldn't figure it out. Yeah, Douglas sent in the first letter, who, which we no one knew at the time. The live audience didn't. Richard has solved it. Richard in Seymour, Indiana. Thank you, you so have much. solved the puzzle. Interesting. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I should remind people that we're looking for more videos, hopefully from new uh, fans of the show. Not new. You can be an old fan of the show, but we would love to get some new. We we have uh, one video, possibly two, but people who have submitted like four and five videos. So hopefully, we could get. Oh, there are more of them. Yeah. So I just googled vintage sausage stuffer, and there's some sort of mechanical looking ones. There. This. I mean, this. This is absolutely has to be. Yeah, that thing. I think what it is. Yeah, um, that's the one he sent us, I think, right? Yeah, it, yeah, very close, very close. Very cool. Okay, sorry to interrupt. Very, no, no, no problem. Uh, so we're looking for more videos from from people who haven't sent videos before. Um, just make a two to three minute video, uh, something that you have in the attic, something that you you absolutely love, a gadget that you bought and you love, a piece of crap that you bought and you hate. Here's a chance to get even with the company by telling others not to buy it. Just make a two to three minute video. Put it on YouTube. Uh, when you upload it, just click uh, unlisted. And that way only people with the link can see it. And send us the link. And the link goes to mail at gizwiz.tv. Mail at gizwiz.tv. And uh, I will send myself uh, the December issue of Mad Magazine. Uh, and one of those Alfred E. Newman pictures from 30-some-odd years ago. And that's what you get if we show your video here on the show. Uh, so we do need videos soon. Like I said, we have videos from people who have done four and five of them. But we'd love to get a video even for next week's show uh, from someone who hasn't submitted a video uh, before. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Thanks for sending in your gadgets, folks. Uh, with that, I guess uh, I, I want to give a big thank you to our patron supporters, patreon.com slash gizwiz. You guys help support the show. This is an independent operation uh, just done by me and Dick and a few others. we got Josh, uh, the producer, um, and it is really supported by you guys. The 298 patrons that we currently have helps this show run and happen every single week. So thank you guys so much. Patreon is a platform to support independent content creators like ourselves, and you can support us at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Big thanks to our patrons. If you want to catch the show live, gizwiz.tv is a place to do it. We are in a different recording schedule a little bit. Uh, Next week, we're going to be recording uh, at 8 Eastern. And then the next week we'll be back to uh, 7. Uh, right. Oh, and, so and both, both on both Wednesday. The, both Sorry. on Wednesday. Yes, right. exactly. Next week is 8 Eastern <coughs> on Wednesday. The week after that is back to 7 Eastern on Wednesday. 7, 7.30. 7.30 Eastern on Wednesday. And then uh, we're, we should be back on schedule uh, after the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, hopefully, for a little while. If you want to watch that live, that's at gizwiz.tv. You can click on over there uh, whenever we are live and see the live stream. It goes away if we are not live, and you can join the chat room. 
If you didn't catch us live, you can subscribe or see the episodes on our website with links to all the gadgets we talked about. Uh, you can subscribe on iTunes in HD, SD, or the audio versions, or even on YouTube. Also, Dick writes up these fantastic articles about every gadget that we talk about over at gizwiz.biz. While you're there at gizwiz.biz, go ahead and click the What the Heck Is It game. The official, the original What the Heck Is It. And you can see what we are trying to figure out what the heck it is this week. And I'm going to say it is a new aged lantern. Paul Revere's, Revere style. You throw a candle in the middle of that, and it's a, a nice silicon lantern. You're not going to burn yourself on it. Uh, and pink, because it's stylish. If you know what this is, there's 12 Mad Magazine, signed by Dick himself, and he'll send them your way for correct answers. But 24 Double the Mad Magazines for funny, hilarious, and interesting answers. So get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. I think that about wraps it up for this episode. We'll see you next week. I'll be here.